Hi guys! Hi! <laughs> Welcome back to our channel. Welcome back. My name is Free. My name is Michael. And we are the, the Stalwart Lovers. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> so if you are new here, we are so glad you came. We are so glad you stumbled upon us. Please make sure you subscribe and turn on the notification bell. Get mm -hmm. familiar with us. You're going to love us. If we do say so ourselves. Definitely, you're going to love us. <laughs> and if you're returning, we are glad you came back. We love you. Thank you for always coming back to view. Thank you for always for, for all the love, the comments, the shares and everything. So please make sure you follow us on all our other social media handles if you haven't done that already. And yeah, let's just jump right into the video. Awesome. So, baby, what are we doing today? What are we doing today? <laughs> all right, so backstory, you know, if you don't know, we got married as virgins. Yeah. And I mean, we have a whole video on how the first night experience was. If you have right. not seen it, go check it out. It's like here or here? at almost 1.5 million views right now. So it's, it's going to bless you. Uh, with that being said, with what we know now, three, almost three years married, and almost yeah. two and a half years of like living together having and sex, having sex yeah. you know yeah. there are some things if we know now we would not have done mm -hmm. there's some mistakes we believe that we we made yeah that probably made that night the way it was mm -hmm. and um i mean don't get us wrong it was a beautiful experience definitely we did our best that was what we knew that was all we knew the limit of our knowledge and yeah. stuff and it was still amazing it was amazing you know, it was but just thinking back you know, if it could have been better. Yeah. Maybe. Yes, definitely. I and mean, with what we know now. Yeah, know. so lessons from our wedding night, five mistakes we made. That's the video we're doing today. We're going to do another video where we'll tell you about how you can have a better experience. Yeah. Uh, because we cannot put everything into one view. So make sure you look out for that as well. As well. well. Okay, so what would you think is the first mistake that we made on our wedding night? Well, I'll say that we should have booked more than one night in the hotel. Like, what were we thinking? <laughs> <laughs> we should have booked more than one night. And guys, this is my reason. Okay, fine. We there was COVID nineteen. We were literally we in the married. COVID nineteen lockdown we got married when we got COVID married. So they they are just like easing up things. So that was when they said allowing twenty five people. That was our wedding was that small. Yeah. That was when they said allowing. Hotels, and hotels to open. and you know places some some restaurants, public places few some places, restaurants few yeah. places to open up so the hotel we went to uh, of course was already open they started business so we're just feeling like oh the the earlier we're able to get back into our house you know that time covid was like in the air <laughs> like it's, it's not it's safe not out like, there guys it's, it's not safe like, Outside is just not safe breathing you know? outside air is dangerous <laughs> so we felt like okay let's just have one night at the hotel and that's all one night only. <laughs> One night only. Okay. And I wish we knew. That yeah, we should have. We should have booked days. at least three days. You know, because that would have helped us a great deal. Mm -hmm. Another reason why we just booked one night, we didn't mind to even continue having sex in our own house. Like we said, we booked a hotel that was very close to our, yeah. to where you know I live, yeah. and but we didn't want that first night to be in our house. We have to worry about oh, is the gen on? Oh, they've taken the power. Or oh, you know, blah blah blah. I mean, it also needed to be a really cool. Yes, nice but we could experience. have made it longer. Yeah. I think we, we also didn't want our neighbors to be hearing our voice because we didn't know. We wanted to just be comfortable. Like, yes, not if, overthinking. Yeah. Who is hearing us? Who or is not. hearing us? Or yeah. Not. So we wanted to just be really. That was a big mistake. We should have. Booked we should have two booked. to three nights. Yeah. Because money wasn't the problem at yes, the time. Yes. Yes. So which leads us to the next point. Next mistake we yes, made. The next was mistake that we made. We didn't have to have sex that night yeah so that the <laughs> pressure of oh we only have one night here and all that kind of made us um, also just yes also try to have sex that night and apart from that the also the pressure of um i just want to get this over with i i don't yeah. want to stretch this out for too long that has its advantages like it not stretching <laughs> out the pain and the stress and the discomfort and just trying to get it over with but that also put us under a pressure to feel like oh we had to do it that night. yeah i think that majorly our mindset about having sex on the wedding night was not perfect yes i i we had the mindset that it doesn't have to be that night mm -hmm. and we knew but we felt like if we feel strong enough mm -hmm. and you yeah. know because see that day i drove i drove the car all the way from ibaron to lagos mm -hmm. we got 
to Lagos like 8 30 9 p.m yeah and our car even had an issue some people had dust to leave you know <laughs> stuff like that but funny thing is we felt ah, we are still strong enough let's yeah. go we, you know because this thing you've been looking forward to doing you know but what we didn't know was that our bodies might have not might been as strong not- as our minds worse, yeah. as our minds were right, right. Yeah. because yeah. So maybe if we had just calmed down, relaxed, maybe we would have had a better experience. Mm-hmm. So we'll give you more details about better things in the next video. We'll talk about how you can have a better experience learning from our mistakes. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so, so and um, yeah, I, I'll just say the other thing that I know that was a mistake that we could have done better was foreplay. Mm, so mm. and i just want to stress on this a little bit not too much but just a little bit so in our minds i mean knowing what we know now we knew i know that now i know <laughs> <laughs> now i know that that foreplay we had wasn't was not enough, enough life wasn't enough so yeah. it wasn't it was more like okay now that we are here um the goal is to have sex. i mean we 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 actually had some foreplay i think even up to 30 minutes we had or we had good we had we had we did have foreplay. we did have some foreplay but, but i think that but i feel like now i know that there is actually a way the woman's body works where our body has to like open up open up and really relax and ease into it like like (laughs) you have to open up and ease into it and even want it so badly yeah especially on the part of the woman yeah so but that being said you know we did have a play like you said Mm -hmm. but you know when you have when you you kissed and you know touch each other and you feel like oh this should be enough now let's just go on to the next thing yeah don't you know we didn't know that you know you have to get to a point where the woman is like see I'm ready. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> because now in our marriage, without telling you too much, the importance of foreplay in how our sex life turns out, it's it's cannot be underestimated. Yeah. Even me as the man that but my goal is I want to please my wife, I want to please my wife. I now know that if I spend 30 minutes doing foreplay, it will save me 30 minutes of trying to make her feel good. Yeah. Because I've done more than 60% more of more. the work yeah. already. All right. So that's important. Yeah, that's so important. What other mistake uh, did we make? Another mistake we made was not actually going with the fingers first. Mm. Mm. Do you get what I mean? Do you get what I mean? It's a debatable <laughs> mistake. I have my opinion on this, but let me hear you. I mean, so I feel like... So, it's not, the truth is, the way everything went, it wasn't bad. Mm. You understand? It's just that, instead of going through some discomfort and some pain trying to get the guy in you know you know what we by the guy <laughs> the guy <laughs> trying to get the guy in first i mean it was literally like something that was so tiny nothing has ever gone there before fresh literally virgin lands <laughs> fresh <laughs> literally virgin lands oh, Lord. oh my God. and one guy one, it's just like you're trying to fit a camel into a needle's head I exaggeration mean, well, Let's move on. I'm just trying to be like, <laughs> guys, guys, I'm playing too much. Okay, so this is supposed to be a quick video, be focus. Sorry, sorry. Oh yeah, sorry now. Oh yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah, focus, focus. Okay, so I mean, it's about it, it was like such a big difference. Like yeah. the difference between my place and his guy was just too different. So we should have gone with oh. What can we put inside that would at least expand it a little and a little and a little and a little? Yeah. So we could have used the fingers for like from the onset. Instead of stretching even, the elastic. Instead of even trying with the guy because it was so painful, it was not even happening. It wasn't yeah. working at all. In the end, it was even the fingers that saved us. Exactly. We mentioned that in the video. Exactly. You know, so we it was just the fingers, used the fingers that even started, worked in yeah. the first place. So yeah. we could have just started with that. So that when it is time for the guy to come in, it should have just been so easy. Yeah, but you know, the balance there is this. It's not everybody that always starts with fingers first regardless, right? There yeah. are other things that... Because, you know, mistake upon mistake upon mistake. Yeah, like combination not of allowing mistakes, the foreplay to... Yeah, so combination of mistakes make a lot of things wrong. So, you know, there are people who have, you know, had their virginity broken and they never use fingers and it was still a better experience so that's yeah. what, that's why the balance is we're not saying fingers only fingers only no we're not saying fingers yeah. in fact even talking about that foreplay like if you notice now for people i mean i've heard stories of people that like lost their virginity to their boyfriend, to their boyfriend. and things like that how did they do it that it wasn't so painful i mean if it was supposed to be so painful 
why would they have like how would I put it now? Like had the sex and then and do then it again. Still and live then... on exactly. So it means that they had enough of it. They had I mean they and they were probably desire. exactly they were probably they were probably making out and thinking ready. that they would do they would not that have far and then they realize and then they realize oh well, I want this thing too much. Yeah. So you have to get to that point. Even though you are a married couple, you have to allow yourself to get to that point that oh I want this thing. Yes. You are even wet on your own. Sorry. Yeah, you should also keep this clean. Anyway, needful to say, <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. Needful to say, you know, I know we made a uh, uh, mention of the example of someone who loses their virginity, you know, by their boyfriends. Mm-hmm. We stand strongly yeah, sure. for sexual purity. Mm-hmm. We believe that sex should be after marriage is done. Mm-hmm. Sex before marriage is a sin before God mm-hmm. for anybody and especially Christians who call upon the name of the Lord. Yeah, so sure. keep your bodies pure. Even if you've had sex before and you're still single, you can make up your mind to be celibate mm-hmm. and keep yourself for your marriage. There are a lot of benefits to this. We've mentioned this before. We have a video on why it is important for you not to have sex before marriage and all those things. Check out our channel. A lot of videos to bless you. Yes. Okay, so the last and the number five mistake, and this is very um vulnerable to be very honest Mm -hmm. and now i know better i wouldn't have done this and the the last mistake is that after we successfully had penetration we didn't have to continue yeah since i was still sore i was still you know so i I mean i our understanding of what sex was and this is why we are doing this video guys yeah we need to have enough information out there that can help sincere good Christians who want to do the, do it the right thing it doesn't have to be only the worldly people that have all this nugget and gems, mm-hmm. right? So we didn't. Have, our understanding of what sex was, was it is complete after the male ejaculation. Now I know better, and that's not what sex is, you know. So after we had penetration, you know, in the video we mentioned that my wife was like, I said, you know, if let me now try now if I can just land, you know, which was like if I can just you know ejaculate. You know, you know, I'll buy you ice cream and stuff like that. We said, mm-hmm. you know, just now playfully, and no, that was playfully though. But yeah. the point is, I don't think the experience and the intercourse after penetration, because we've just penetrated, didn't mean that it was now going to be painless. I mean, yes, yes, exactly, exactly. Because now, as a married man, trust me, <laughs> when we are when we are having sex, if there's a hit my wife just does. Pain. <laughs> I'll ask pleasure or pain. <laughs> because women can be confused. They can do, uh, and it is intense pleasure. And sometimes, <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. Sometimes that, oh, uh, it is, I'm feeling one tingling pain somewhere. And once I hear pain, I stop. Mm. This is supposed to be a, a, a union action before yeah. a, an intimate action. No pain allowed. Yeah. So I'm like that now, and I'm saying it's not because it's on mm. the camera, she knows. <laughs> But then, if I know what I know, I will not be having sex with my wife when I know that every single trust is painful. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't have done that because that's not that that I don't think that would have helped anybody, you know. So that's a mistake I I admit to myself, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and I want you not to make the same mistake as yes. me, guys. All right. I so, mean, we don't, don't judge us. So ah, come on. This is a vulnerable video. This is us. We see washing our dirty mini outside. Literally. <laughs> But you guys Just already telling, know telling us. Telling you our mistakes. Yes, you, know, you guys already know us. We are real, and we we we're gonna keep it real. Mm-hmm. You know, as long as God will help us yeah. on this channel. And that is it. These are the mistakes we made. Yeah. Honestly, you don't want to miss the next video. Not the immediate one, but I mean, just watch out for the video where we talk about how you can have a painless or, or less, painful less painful as possible as, as less as painful possible. as possible experience. Because see, it's possible. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it is. Yeah. I know there are a lot of factors that we'll talk about that in the video. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> let's not watch out for that as well. It's going to be very, very instructive and helpful for your first time uh, in experience. experience, whether you're a virgin or not. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. All right, guys. So if you enjoyed this video, please make sure you give it a like. Please like make sure video. you subscribe if you haven't. Please turn on your notification bell. Share this video. Share it. Please share this. It video will help with somebody. Everyone that you think it will be helpful for anyone yeah. you know that is about to get married and things like that just share this video with them it's gonna bless them yeah and so till we come here again keep loving and keep believing we are the, the store, store lovers, lovers.